Welcome to ProtectYour6.com. Today, we're bringing another goalkeeper glove comparison between the Renop Bionic Flex Guard 2 and the Aviata Strata Fluo. Both these gloves feature a roll finger cut, uh, which means the latex wraps all the way around to the backhand uh, with no gussets to get a maximized latex to all contact. Uh, the roll finger on the Renots though, you do get a gusset, uh, so you kind of have a flat middle finger, mid finger area, and then the tops of your fingers are on a roll. It's a bit of a weird feel, uh, weird cut, um, but it is a roll finger. Um, it just doesn't have the full finger wrapping all the way around to the backhand. You do get the option for finger protection in both these gloves. The Aviata, you do have a removable finger protection system that comes with the glove if you order it with it. And with the Renot, you have a non-removable finger protection system. That, And you have a thumb protector. Com both come with a thumb protector, so it's something you don't see too often. Uh, so it's some good, you, uh, especially in the Aviata, you can remove it if you don't like it. The Renot still feels nice, uh, doesn't feel too restrictive on my thumb at least. The Renot fits a little interesting. The way the glove is designed, it forces your fingers open. They're not, a lot of gloves you see, your hands are like this, you know, your fingers are bunched together. This, it forces your fingers to be apart, uh, giving you a wide uh, area for catching the ball. The wrist strap on the Renot is really nice. It's very wide, especially down here in front of your palm. And it kind of narrows out a little bit, but it's very, surrounds your wrist very good, very secure. One of the best wrist straps on the market. It is, have a little bit of padding to it. Uh, this isn't a latex here. This is, feels like PU. Um, though it is a little cushion, just gives a night, it gives a little more comfort if the ball ever strikes to your wrist or get kicked in the wrist. Um, helps take this thing out of it a little bit. So the thumb finger save doesn't feel too restrictive. Um, the finger saves and the four fingers though are decently stiff. Um, I wouldn't say they're the stiffest as I've had some where I couldn't even use the finger saves. They were too stiff. Um, but they are fairly stiff. Uh, they don't lock at 180 degrees. They do go back a little bit um, as you can see. But the fit, like I said, it is a little kind of weird with the the way the cut is. When you put the glove on, you uh, feels normal going in, and then once you get hit about right here in the fingers, uh, it gets really tight. Um, so it kind of locks your fingers up, like right about here. Uh, it's kind of hard to get your fingers all the way to the top of the glove. See if I pull it's as high as up I can get my fingers to go in there. Tip my fingers right here, so I can't really get too uh, too good a fit. Uh, I'll usually like my fingers to be a little closer to the top, uh, but it, it's okay with this. Um, you do have a mega grip latex, a three millimeter external mega grip latex with a five millimeter s super soft internal latex. The mega grip latex uh, wasn't very tacky. It's very, uh, it's not very soft at all. Uh, I thought it would be durable because it does, it doesn't feel soft, and it did have some issues with durability. Um, some scraping on the fingers. The left hand is a little bit more torn up. I'll pull it out here for you guys. As you can see, just after a little bit of work, the left uh, left hand is really starting to tear up, um, which was unfortunate that the glove didn't have a good grip on the latex or good durability. Um, they'll get you through a season of practice, though, if you want to use them for practice. Um, the Fluo, though, it did, didn't have any problems with durability. Uh, felt very good. You do have the side entry, you have the velcro opening it here, 
pull the glove on and then you have to close this little velcro and then you pull your wrist strap across doesn't give as tight a feel as would an elastic wrist closure um, it's kind of hard to do with one glove on uh, so getting the second glove on is a little tricky I don't have the finger saves in the fluid right now I did prefer to use them without the finger saves and it wasn't because the finger saves were too stiff I just really like the glove without the finger saves it is a very comfortable roll finger very supportive uh, the latex is an okay grip uh, sim uh, a little bit grippier than the mega grip that was on here. It's the Fluo Latex from Aviata. But I didn't have any problems, and the grip wasn't the greatest, but catching the ball was really, really easy with this glove. Uh, durability, uh, didn't have too much, too much problems with durability. Um, you do have a uh, wrap over on the middle two fingers for a maximized latex to ball contact some the AVR did on this glove. You have a, a roll finger, a roll thumb. Latex goes over to the back hand. Uh, you do have a wrap a surround cut here, wraps over to the back hand. So we give a maximized latex to ball contact throughout the whole glove because you, you have the roll finger and the wraps on the fingers. Like I said, I do not have the finger saves in, but the finger saves did perform well, didn't have any issues with durability and breaking on the finger saves. They're very flexible, but I found the glove more enjoyable to use without the finger saves because of the support in the field of backhand gave. You do have AVR's pressure punching pad. Right here is a rubber pad out right on the knuckles. You have a uh, a little bit more cushion when you're punching and more punching power get the ball out further it's a nice addition uh, a lot of gloves you'll see they put you know just extra foam or something there but they put a nice rubber it's got a decent grip to it so you get a good solid hit on the ball uh, I couldn't really tell the difference in my distance but it di definitely didn't feel uh, as hard uh, on my kn knuckles when I was punching the ball clear which was nice Overall, these two gloves, they may, they look similar with the roll finger cut. They have, both have the option of five finger saves. But to me, there's only one glove I'd rather use out of the two, and that's the Aviata. It has a more comfortable backhand, except here you have just some mesh and some PU for the backhand, and a little and like three millimeter internal latex, but you, that you can't really feel. It just feels like a PU backhand. You have some mesh, put the backhand on the Aviata with uh, the, the latex, you have a little bit of mesh in the fingers, very flexible, very supportive, uh, like I said, a majority just that the finger saves, uh, they have the wrap on the fingers, the roll, it gives maximized latex ball contact everywhere with the roll finger cut, uh, the wrap here and the wrap on the thumb, whereas here you just have a roll finger, no wrap on the thumb, just a flat thumb. Finger saves, not too bad on restriction, but still weren't the most comfortable to use. And overall, the Aviata was better in most departments, except for the wrist strap, where the Renaught definitely has the best wrist strap of the two. So that's my pick. I prefer the Aviata over the Renaught. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments.